Here are a few of the tools you'll need to rebuild your XD lower unit. Hammer. Seal puller. Snap ring pliers. Pipe wrench. Impacts. All the nuts on the lower unit are 3.8. You will use 9.16 wrenches. Extension on the swivel helps a lot to get the bottom ones off. Two at the top. Eight at the bottom. Start by removing the two top nuts and bolts. They are center lock. They may be tight all the way to the end. Remove the two bolts. Then down to the eight nuts on the flange. After you have removed all eight nuts, you can pull up on the back end and the lower unit should pop right out. Eight nuts, two bolts at the top. Begin by putting in the vise. Remove the prop with the Belleville washer. With a pipe wrench, you can remove the cup, its left-handed threads, and you also want to grab it closer to the prop shaft. As far away from the shaft housing as possible. Unscrew and remove the cup. Rotate the lower unit around. Now you can remove the pulley. With a 15 16 socket, you're going to remove the main pulley nut. And the washer. With a 7 32nd Allen. You're going to remove the two set screws out of the taper lock bushing. One of those screws are required to pull the pulley. Unscrew it from there and reinstall it there. You may have to use a block of wood to hit on the pulley to get it to break free. Once it pops back, tighten the 732nd screw in and it will pull the bushing. Once it quits pulling, remove the set screw and the bushing should slide right off. You're going to have a bushing, the pulley, and also a key. Remove the first snap ring that holds the oil seal in. Then with the seal puller, you're going to pull the seal out. Gently tap it in at a slight angle. Clean all the grease behind the seal. And there's another snap ring that holds the bearing in. Remove the second snap ring. Put the old nut back on. Use the nut if you're going to tap on it. Reinstall the old prop nut. Now 
Now you can hit the shaft forward and remove the shaft and bearing. Remove the nut because the shaft will go through the log. When you pull the shaft out, there will be old grease. You can wrap a rag around the shaft, twist it tight, then pull the shaft through the rag. Wipe out the flange and expose the inner seal and snap ring. This snap ring does not sit in the groove. It only sits in the in a small recess. Put the old prop nut back on. And with an air chisel or a hammer and chisel, you can remove the bearing and seal sleeve. Put the chisel in the notch and hit towards the end of the prop shaft. Holding the shaft on the ground at a slight angle, you can air chisel the bearing and the seal sleeve off pretty easy. It is a pressed fit. You don't want it to come off easy or go back on easy. Remove the old nut, sleeve, and bearing. Now's the time to inspect it and make sure the shaft looks good underneath the sleeve and bearing. Now we're going to remove the front seal sleeve and the old bearing. On a shop press, use the old nut. Press the shaft down through the old bearing and sleeve. This is also a pressed fit. It will not come off easily. Once you have pressed it through, remove the nut, then remove the old seal sleeve and bearing. Reinstall the nut to remove the thrust bushing. With the air chisel, knock it back down towards the end. To reinstall the thrust bushing, we use Loctite 680. With the thrust bushing installed, you are now ready to install the new bearing. You want to make sure when you press it on that the bearing sits all the way against the thrust bushing. You can use a little grease on the inner bearing and also some on the shaft. When you press the new bearing on, make sure that the thrust bushing stays in place. Use the old nut to push on. Press the shaft down on the bearing till it seats against the thrust bushing. The seal sleeve on the bearing end. You can use a piece of bushing material. And also a deep socket to hit it back down. You want it to seat against the bearing.
put the old nut back on. Remove the prop nut. To install the race, there are some letters on it. You want that facing away from the propeller. The letters face away from the propeller. Install the race letters down. The thrust bushing has a flat side. The flat side goes to the propeller. The chamfered side goes towards the race. Flat side to the prop. Chamfered side to the race. Here are some of the parts in the rebuild kit. Race, bearing cup bearing, the main bearing for the front, seal sleeve thrust bushing for the back, four seals, left and right is for the bearing cup, bottom is for the inner, top is for the pulley seal, your plug for the back end for the grease, pulley nut, your three snap rings, two bigger ones are for your bearing and your seal, the smaller is for the inner seal, your pulley bushing, washer, Belleville washer for the prop. Screw for the newer style XD, number three Phillips. Prop nut. Here are the tools you'll need to reinstall the race and sleeve. Inch and a sixteenth socket. The prop, a hammer. There are some numbers on the inner side of the race. You want that installed facing away from the propeller. Using a propeller, the inch and a sixteenth socket. Put your socket on the inside of the propeller. Push them in there. Make sure that the race and the sleeve are all the way seated. Flat in to the prop. Now to reinstall the shaft, you can put a little grease on the outside of the bearing and also pack the bearing with a little grease at this time. Now you're ready to reinstall the shaft into the shaft housing. Install the snap ring to hold the bearing into place. You may have to tap it to make sure it fully expands. Install your pulley in seal. You only want to drive the seal in as far as you need to install the snap ring. It will go deeper than it needs to. Install this last snap ring. Also making sure that it fully expands. You can reinstall the pulley now. First the key, then pulley then taper lock bushing. Install the two 7 32nd set screws, but do not fully tighten it this time. You want them directly across from each other. Install the new washer. Little Loctite close to the washer. Then install the new pulley nut. Tighten the nut down. Then tighten the two set screws.
make sure you have no in and out play and it spins freely. Now we're gonna do the bearing cup rebuild. If you hit it flat on the vise, most of the time you can get the bearing out with a small punch at a slight angle. You should be able to hit the seals and the bearing out all at the same time. Clean all the old grease out the cup. There are two different sizes. The smaller seal goes first. You can use a seal driver to reinstall the seals. Tap the first one till it bottoms out. Then the same with the second one. We install them here where the springs face each other. Next, you're gonna install the bearing. Tap it down until it seats. Before installation, you wanna add some grease to that rear bearing. And again, left-handed threads. Screw it all the way down by hand. With your pipe wrench, you want to tighten closer to the prop shaft. If you tighten close to the log, it may not tighten all the way. Once you have the cup tight, you're ready to reinstall the prop, new washer and nut. The prop nuts we call for 60 foot pounds of torque. You do not want to over tighten it. Some of the earlier XD lower units had a 316 pipe plug. Most of the later ones have a number three Phillips screw with a, a rubber O-ring. Remove the rear plug before greasing. The greaser in the front, grease it there until you get grease out the rear. You can also rotate the lower unit while greasing. You can rotate the lower unit and it will push more grease out and help relieve the pressure. Once you do that, reinstall your plug. The front O-ring comes in the rebuild kit. It's a good idea to take it off and actually grease it. That way it sticks in the groove while you re reinstall the lower unit. Place the O-ring back in the groove and wipe away the excess grease. For the reinstall, you can use a piece of banding material or string, wrap it around the belt, place it off to the side, go in with the lower unit, in between the flange and the pulley, pick up, pull the belt on, ro rotate the prop slightly, and it'll pop right on. Reinstall the eight nuts and two bolts at the top, tightening in a cross pattern. Reinstall the two bolts with lock nuts.